how do you keep yourself safe on the Solana blockchain when people come along, scammers, and they try to drain you? So recently, WalletGuard put out this little post here, and we can see that Phantom Wallet doesn't show a pure simulation of the transaction. So when this happens, you know you're visiting something that's dodgy. And in particular, this happened to Sniper, and Sniper is an NFT marketplace on Solana, and they had their Twitter breached. However, this also happened to Chonky. This is a new Chonky here, at Chonky.com, but the original Chonky is this one, at Chonky Solana, and you can see it's been temporarily restricted. They posted a scam link here, which if we go and click on Chonky.trading, we can see that Phantom has blocked it. We can continue there anyway. The only way that that would actually work, of course, is if Phantom was aware that it was a scam website, which could take minutes or hours or sometimes longer. The website is now down. The real Chonky website is good. It's just Chonky.com. So now I'm going to show you what this scam looks like and how you should navigate these sort of things in the future. So in my tutorial wallet here, I've got lots and lots of different wallets. I want you all to have plenty of wallets for different things. I've been over this so many times, I'm sure you're probably sick of me saying it. So just create a brand new wallet, label it burner, and then just put a little wee flame there and have a very small amount of soul or a meme coin or whatever you like. I'm gonna donate less than $1 to this scam website. So if you don't know if something's trustworthy, connect with this one first before you then go and connect, say your DeFi wallet or your Drift wallet, your NFT or whatever wallet. So this here is a scam website. Now, anyone that knows the Degenerate Ape Academy knows that their branding's amazing and this is terrible branding. It's low effort, but nevertheless, we'll see if we can connect. I'm also running something called NoScript, which stops JavaScript from running in the browser. So if you have this installed, then if we go to a website, it will not allow it to work. So here you can just basically click on install NoScript and you can go and put it into Chrome. And then this is it here. There's 100,000 plus users and this is what it is. So up here in my toolbar, I'm just gonna go and trust it but generally I would suggest to not trust it, of course. I've trusted it here, let's see if we can connect. So now we'll connect our wallet and we're gonna see in a second, it should pop up. It hasn't popped up on this screen. So bring it over here and we can see we've got this here. If I cancel it, it's gonna pop up again. So you'll see here if I click on cancel, it'll keep on prompting it open and open. I'm getting some issues here where I cannot confirm the transaction. We'll see if this works. Now, of course, if you're doing anything like this, it's very, very dodgy. And let's see if it's actually left our wallet. It has not left our wallet. So I'm getting a lot of errors here where I can't actually approve the transaction. And maybe that's to do with the fact that I've got no script running. So I'll just go ahead and trust all of these sources, which I wouldn't normally suggest you'd ever do. But we'll just do it and we'll see if we get things improving. So we can see this transaction here, we'll confirm it. And we can see it took out of our wallet everything that was in here. The pending app interaction. Now this happened with one click. There are multiple different transactions which happened. The soul here, not very much soul was taken. In fact, no soul was taken. And you can see the transaction went to this address. So if we click here and view on soul scan and then click here, you can see there have been some tokens that have been scammed. And it seems as though they've got nothing much in here. Not at the moment anyway. Now let's go back into the wallet. People will often ask, is it safe to use this once I've actually clicked on this website? And yes, normally it is. If we have a look at the transaction, and we just scroll on down, we can see basically all of the instructions here. And if we just go Control F or Command F, and just type in delegate or even just deli. If you can see anything that says delegate, then it means there are some things we have to fix. But this was just a simple way of stealing your tokens. If it did say delegate, we could just go to famousfoxes.com and go to utility after we've connected our wallet and then just go to the revoker. Here, we would have these approvals. We could select them all and then we could revoke all. Essentially what this tool does is it stops someone from taking your tokens if you have allowed them to do so. So in this transaction, it doesn't work like that. But if you could imagine this address here, essentially 
giving the power to withdraw, say, USDC in the future to this address, then this address could go and take that USDC at a later date. And we don't want to have anything like that. This is a normal thing on blockchains, it's on Solana and Ethereum virtual machines as well. Now it's definitely meme quin season, it's definitely degen season, that's to be expected. So go and degen, have fun, of course. When you see cool websites, this one's a legitimate website, of course, you can go and you can go and interact with them. But make sure you're starting with a burner wallet, something with like 20 cents worth of value in it, something so minimal that if you lose it, there's no issues. And then remember to split up your assets into whatever's needed. As an example, put your soul into your staking wallet and preferably it'd be great if it was on a ledger and then go and stake it. Stake it with Jito or Blaze or Marinade or, and this is just a tutorial account of course, go and stake it with a validator.com and then use your other wallets here for other things. Stay safe out there. DGen, have fun. Lose 20 cents in your burner wallet, but that's it.